This is an introduction to Google Analytics. Google Analytics is a vital asset for digital marketers to gain business insights about your website. Analytics undeniably leads your business to better decisions. And right out of the gate, Google Analytics is a tremendously powerful tool in your marketing arsenal. Taking the time and the business resources to customize your settings on your properties that have Google Analytics installed, and why wouldn't you install them on every digital property you own? The result is more meaningful contextual data for your business. Yes, you can get by on the standard implementation and the basic settings, but I really want you to be able to take your data to the next level. So let's discuss just for a moment, what exactly is Google Analytics? Google Analytics is a standard these days in digital marketing. The platform is widely used as a free online tracking tool, and it's provided by the fine folks over at Google. It provides you with the power and the metrics to measure how many people come to your website, what those people do when they get there, and so much more. Okay, so you know that Google Analytics is a vital tool to fully understanding business insights on your website. Let's discuss how this powerful tool actually works. There are four main components to Google Analytics. These are data collection. Google Analytics can gather data from websites, mobile applications, and even kiosks or point of sale systems. Configuration. These are the settings you control in Google Analytics. Your configuration will define what you see in the online interface. We'll be discussing these settings a little bit later on in the unit. Processing. Processing is the step where your data is transformed according to your configuration settings and then stored in the Google Analytics database for output. It is essential for you to know that at this point, the data in Google Analytics cannot be altered. And finally, reporting. Reporting takes place in the Google interface for Google Analytics, but like other Google products, you can also extract your data using the core reporting API and then pull the data into custom applications. Before we get into the nitty gritty of the configuration settings and reports, it's super important that you conceptually understand the account structure. Okay, so let's discuss this for just a second. Account, this is the highest level in Google Analytics. An account is the umbrella for a single entity to categorize data from all digital resources together. Properties, each account can have one or multiple web properties with a unique tracking ID. The ID tells Google which data to collect, store, and then report back to you. Property, side note. Normally you would want to build individual accounts for unique businesses or distinct business divisions. While this makes it easy to view data from each asset independently, it does not, absolutely does not allow you to view data in aggregate across multiple digital properties. If you decide you want to see data collected as one unit versus as a single property, you need to adjust your implementation settings and use a single tracking ID. This is frequently referred to as roll-up reporting. Finally, views. For each property, you have the choice to create different views of your data. If you want a unique assessment of the data, use the configuration settings in your account to outline each view. Usually you make several views for each property to keep and manage your data. For example, suppose you have a sales team for each geographic region and you want a view for each region. You can then give each sales team a view. I personally recommend at least three. You should, at the very least on your site, create a raw unfiltered view, a master view, as well as a test view within your Google Analytics account. Again, it should be noted, once Google Analytics processes data, it cannot be changed. Also, once you delete a view, it cannot be restored. And it should be noted that when you create a new view, it doesn't use historical data as it begins from the date of view creation. So this wraps up chapter one. In chapter two, we'll be begin to discuss the intricacies of the Google Analytics environment, beginning with the GA admin section. We'll cover how to set up account settings, how to properly set up property settings, and how to manage your view settings.